Oh yeah, there's another camp. Hey, someone's here. He's a drifter, let him in. Where's Tucker, Alki? Over at the dig site. Well, which one, goddammit? The north one. Back there. If anybody touches this bike, or anything on it, I break your fingers. Whatever, man. Jesus. What do you want? Who's asking? Oh, look, they're farming. I keep telling you, everywhere you look, it's all one giant lava field. 25 feet solid rock. It'll take jackhammers to... I don't need a lecture, goddammit. I get it. No, you don't. But these people are hungry. Even if they had all their strength. It'll take them months to finish this job with picks and shovels. I don't give a shit! We're all hungry, Al. But this job's gotta get done whether it takes all goddamn year. It's not like we got somewhere else to be now, do we? Wait. Not finished. We'll make it quick, we get Al. I got things to do. Rippers. This morning, one of my men spotted a large group of them coming over the pass. And no one stopped them. How the f... Tucker, you know we're already spread thin. Are, are they headed north? Al, are they headed towards us? Yes or no? I... I don't know. Maybe he knows. <laughs> what the fuck are you oh. up to now, huh? What's this about, huh? Damn it, Alki. It's not his job to know. It's your goddamn job to know. I can't be at two places at one time. You're the one me here, running your dig. You want me out there in the shit, chasing the rippers. Go check the store, see how much ammo we got left. I'll tell Wheeler to watch the dig. What are you looking at? Oh, I don't know, I'm just waiting for you to smarten the fuck up. Don't! Did you track down Leon? Good thing someone around here knows how to make things happen. Ride with me. How long has it been since you found someone, brought him in? The kind of people left out in the shit aren't the kind of people you want me bringing in. We lost two more to the fever. It's not my problem. You want our food? I'm making it your problem. I told you we'll do runs for you, but we're not joining your goddamn camp. Remind me again, my old woman's memory. Why is that? <laughs> because it's a waste of time, Tuck. Well, aren't you the optimist? Where's Boozer? He said he was gonna head over to Copeland's camp, see about trading for some fish. You're not in bed with Cope now, are you? His camp near yours? It's not closer or further. Look, I'm not Boozer's old lady. He goes where he wants. I kill myself. Why does this stink so bad? <laughs> Jesus. You knows, dude. You keep the shit burning all day and night. Got a lot of freak corpses piling up out here. With men like you doing your jobs, damn right we keep it burning. Try using more gasoline. Burns faster, less fumes. Like we got so much to spare? When it's all gone, what are you gonna put in that bike of yours, spit and sweat? Now what the hell is going on here? The count's off. Storage is missing food and some ammo. Jesus. Who was on watch last night? Wheeler. Tonight, double the watch. This shit's starting to piss me off. You got it. 
Trouble in paradise? It's like I was saying. Camp's like a prison. Bunch of goddamn lazy liars, thieves, rapists, and murderers. You know why that is? No idea. Because that's who we are. The freak show. Only folks survived were those mean enough, nasty enough to out-freak the freaks. The rest are here. Hoping I feed them, protect them, keep them nice and cozy and warm, so they can sit on their asses and watch the world end. You! Get your ass back to work! Don't make me go get Cyrus! Lazy sons of bitches can screw around all they like on their time. Daytime is my time. Running this camp is no different than running a prison. I can't remember what you said. You were, you were what? You were a warden or something? <laughs> Nothing so high and mighty. I was matron of the women's ward. You look like the sort who might have spent some time in the pen. Back in the day. You ever do time? I had my share of trouble, but I never landed in K-State. I got a job for you. Larson was on a run yesterday. Passed through Marion Fork, said he saw someone. Young woman looked like. But he only caught a glance. He stopped to look around, but he never found her. Is he sure? Larson's been doing this long as you. He knows a person from a freak. But you got a knack for this. You head over there and find her before the freaks do. I'll see what I can do. But look, Tuck, I want the rest of my credits for Leon. You bring me warm bodies, I'll give you all the credits you can spend. I gotta go find Wheeler. Someone's looking at a night in the shaft. Alcott. What do you want, Drifter? What's your problem? Hmm? One of my men uh, escaped to Ripper Camp over by Iron Butte. Got tortured, like they always do. But this time, they kept asking me if he knew about it. Two bikers, two men, asking me if he'd ever seen them or heard of them. A lot of bikes around here. What's it, <laughs> what's it got to do with me? The Ripper called them mongrels. How many drifters still flying colors around here? As if that shit matters. You ask me, you got a price on your head. How's it feel to be on the other side? Why don't you just show me what you got, because I don't have time for your bullshit. Whatever you say, Deke. Looks like they don't get along with each other. Oh, look at that. Did I buy this gun? Oh yeah, I got... I want that. I'll buy that. Should keep you pretty safe out there. Good choice. Oh, and we can upgrade. Junk condition, poor condition. Okay. Better Come by if you still junk. need something. I left it on the ground, okay. <laughs> Let me see what this guy has to offer. Hey, can I talk to you? No, I guess not. Now I just gotta figure out who I'm gonna give this to. Bring the drug stash to Tucker. I'll bring it to Copeland. We can't head north until I get this bike fixed up. Copeland it is. So I completing chasing Leon. We unlocked custom skin. Where do I get those skins? Can I help you? Hey, how's it going? Oh, so, okay, I get it. We're gonna run out of this. This camp has 
Come back soon. Weapon merchant, and the other has uh, canic. <sighs> See you later. I gotta talk to Tucker, the old lady. Yeah. What is that? Hey, Tuck. So, am I on your trust list or no? Hello? Oh, there's no job available. Okay. Oh, I got more credits <gasps> now. I'll buy that rifle. Deacon? How's life in the hot springs? Yeah, give me that. You could use a gun like that. Here. Good as new. Good piece. Should help out in a shit. Find me if you need anything else. Okay, thanks. I'll let Tucker know you stopped by. I think this is crappy weapon. Well, I'm just gonna try it out. Hey, what do you need? Hey, how's it going? Okay, I'll go. Clear out those nests. And I got... Yeah, I have to bring that to Copeland. Can I fast travel? Let me check it out. Oh yes, I can. All right, let's do it. Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Back during the American Revolution, when we were fighting for our freedoms, we gained the beautiful right to keep and bear arms. A right we used to protect ourselves, our families, our property. That is, until the ever-growing federal government got scared of the people they swore to protect. Over the years, they stripped us of every gun right they could. Using a few mass shootings, as an excuse to curtail the God-given rights of us, American citizens. Gun control. And there went the Second Amendment, ladies and gentlemen. Let me ask you this. When all this shit went down, if every American was packing heat, do you think we'd be in this mess? Hell no. But this is how the feds wanted it. Disarming the public was just the first step toward getting rid of us all. So who did those gun laws really protect? Sure as hell wasn't us, the American taxpayers. Someday, we ever dig out of this? I want to take a poll. I bet those who survived were those who had guns. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Okay, Cope, this time you got me. I'll take all the guns I can get my hands on. Ain't no one taking them away. Hmm. <laughs> Tucker, okay. I'll stop by when I can. Deacon it out. As soon as I left the <laughs> fucking camp, she's she's asking me back. Tucker to Deacon St. John. Are you listening? I talked to Al the other day. Some of the other men. I know you've been doing runs for the camp. I just wanted to say thank you. Yeah, nah, nah, you gotta leave the bike out here, Deeker. It'll pull all of them down on you. Deacon St. 
John, this is Tucker. Like I said before, I haven't seen Boozer Sweet Face around these last few days. You sure he's all right? This is Deacon. Boozer's fine. Like I said, he's just been busy. Doing runs for that son of a bitch, Mark Okay, what were you saying? Doing runs for that son of a bitch, Mark. Shit. How the fuck they dodge bullets? Out. Okay, uh, you were saying? Doing runs for that son of a bitch, Mark Copeland, no doubt. I get the feeling he doesn't like me much. Boozer, I mean. Like I said, I ain't his old lady, Deacon out. Oh, where else? Yeah, it looks like the kind of place you want to call home, yeah. There are two nests over there. I need my AK now. There are three nests. Well, shit. That's the, right. that's the one. God damn it, what you all shit yourself at once? Jesus Christ. There's another one. This gun is way better than the last. materials to craft. Okay, I got that. Molotovs. One 
one nest is left when that burns out. Or two. Ooh, that's all of them in here. Yeah, two two nests are left. All right. I'll find some stuff to craft one more Molotov. trap. <laughs> what do I need to craft? Kerosene, okay. There's gotta be one more in one of those shacks. something Justin <laughs> oh, I need that oh yeah just keep right on sleeping. Don't pay no attention to me. Yeah. Come on, boys and girls. Let's do this. <laughs> Shit, almost out. Finishing move. Cool. Only bottles, no kerosene. Fuck. Won't be able to burn the nest without it. Yeah, 
Okay, there's better be something here. Oh yeah. I want to try out something real quick. I'll put it. Drop it. Place it right here. This will work. Yeah. How'd you like that? Huh? Come on, you sons of bitches! Come on! None of them got in that fucking bear trap. Is that the last of us? Those nests should be less freaks on the mountain from now on. Hey, Dick, how'd it go with her? With her a lot of them? Nah, it wasn't too bad. That's why I wanted to. Oh, shit. Nah, it wasn't too bad. That's why I wanted to take them on while it's dark out. Some of them were strong as hell, though. Yeah, cold makes them stronger. Yeah, yeah, Boozer. I knew that. Right, anyway, well, thanks, for, thanks for doing that thing. Guess it's shut eye, Boozer. Deacon out. <laughs> 